Hey guys, Oman G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio and today we're just going to do a brief um, press reaction, reaction anyway, to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's press conference for Wolves. Um, so, just before I get into that video, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. Smash that notification button to get up to date with the latest news from Red Devil Studio. We're still going to try and bring more and more different content to the channel me so far so yeah um we're just we're, we're still going to continue going at it anyway um but above all else uh, follow us on twitter and we unite x as well um, and just stay tuned so basically this video is a reaction um to oligon so just press comment reaction just to get us a bit of information about what has been going on so before he actually starts the press conference Solskjaer basically said and i quote and he posts this on the united app he said, we've had a good week, a good training week, a competitive week, so hopefully we can have the same squad and people available. Unless we get something towards the end, there's still a few days until we play. So that essentially strongly almost suggests that the, the squad, the lineup that's going to basically play against um, Wolves is going to be the same lineup um, that's going to play, uh, that's essentially going to play against, uh, that played against Chelsea, sorry. Um, we expected this, we need consistency, and I think it's, it's good that we're now having this ideal starting eleven. I think you do bring Fred, um, in my opinion. Um, I think the jury's still out on that midfielder who should play. It's going to be Fred or Pereira. Um, McTominay, I think, is a starter there. You know, so it's Fred or Pereira for me. But to be honest, everything else is pretty much safe. You know, you have Daniel James on the bench. You bring him on, etc. So make Axel turns to centre back. So yeah, I, 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 I think, I think that's reasonable. I think that's very reasonable. Um, so then basically he gets started. We're obviously talking about facing also. We're going to be facing also away. Um, he says, you always go into a game positive with the right intention you're going to win. And last few visits there, I feel like I'm going home. I'm going home, been there so often lately. Um, they were tough games. Wolves are hard teams to break down, defend deep, don't give you a lot of spaces. They counter attack, set pieces away. Uh, their set piece is always dangerous. We've been looking at the games. I've seen to see if there's anything different to do this time. But our former attitude and yeah, the mood after the win is great. So we're going into the same confidence. So essentially, what he's saying is that we're going into this game with confidence. Um, you know, we've been to Wolves so many times. We went to Wolves, I think, well, three times, obviously, because we played them um, in the FA Cup this season. Um, and yeah, man, um, it, it wasn't good, you know. So, but we come in with this confidence. And I think that win against Chelsea will give this team confidence to basically go up against Wolves. It's going to be a difficult game, not going to lie. But the way that I see it, you know, to be honest, if we win this game, you know, we don't face any what I would call the top seven teams for a while. You know, yes, we have Leicester, I think, but we have Leicester at home, I think it is, on the fourth game. But if we win this game, it puts us in a strong position, bearing in mind um, the fact that um, Arsenal have back to or sit Tottenham are going to be playing City this week Arsenal from next week I will have games against Liverpool and I think it's Spurs back to back so we've got a good position to, a, a situation to try and sort of at this early stage just gradually but surely get ahead of the pack um so yeah it just talks again about how important important this week is he says he's asked is the team fitter and he says, there's a big shift in, in, in different from the teams. Chelsea outran us quite a lot in April. Now we've outran them. So that's a good shift for us. But it's not just about fitness. Fitness is important, but a young team expect loads of energy. But we also have, we also have quality. And that's the key thing. Running around the field is fine. But if we don't have that quality to finish, um, and quality to hold possession, and quality to, to put to bed teams, then it's going to be a problem. Um, however... What we saw in Chelsea, which I think was good, was that we have that quality in the finish. Because one of the things I issued issue with United last season was that we just didn't have um, we didn't have qual we weren't finishing properly. There were games that, to be honest, we could have really um, dealt with, I believe, you know. But because because um, we just didn't have that finishing ability, you know, we struggled. Um, and I think that's just something that I think hopefully hopefully fingers crossed um, will actually change. Um, so moving on, outgoings. So basically, he's, he's, he's asked about Alexis Sanchez. We post a video on Alexis Sanchez. There'll be a, uh, there'll be a, a, a card in to point you to to that video, whether you think Sanchez should stay or not. Um, he basically says Alexis Sanchez is such a professional. He comes in working a single day really hard, which we knew. You know, I to me, Alexis Sanchez he does do that. He is a hard worker, and he wants to be part of this. 
It's these stories he's been put in the reserves, of course. He, of course he hasn't. So that's Ollie from his mouth saying this nonsense that comes from the press, um, you know, that we report, and this channel does report stuff that's coming from the press. So it's not my words, not me, it's stuff that's coming from the press. But the reality is this is coming from the horse's mouth that Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer has not just dumped Alexis Sanchez in the reserves. He has not. It's nonsense. He's had three weeks now. He's a few weeks behind the rest, but close to being ready. Alexis, we don't have the biggest forward line in numbers, so Alexis might end up playing a lot more games than you expect. We expect him to come good at this club, his quality. So that should, to be honest, that should seal it. That should actually seal it now. Um, although, obviously, the video isn't my Alexis' video inscription, and though I think, I personally feel that a guy on, on so, such high wages should leave the club. Um, if he's not performing, he's the highest paid player in the Premier League and he's basically a bench warmer right now. Um, but the, the reality is, is that this is essentially all he's saying. He's staying, our forward line is thin, he's staying and he's going to be playing more games. So that's basically the end of that. That's, that's, Alexis Sanchez is staying in the club and he's going to be playing more games for Manchester United um, to help the forward line. That's it. Whether he will be um, starting is another matter. And personally, I think that he shouldn't. Moving on. Um, he's asked about Fred, um, who obviously hasn't been featured. Um, he says, your team always play better if settled and have a good foundation and not conceding goals. And good teams I played in, we always had a strong base, a keeper, a sell back line. We hope to provide that for our attacks and midfielders. And we believe Fred is going to a big season as well. So Fred will be part of this squad. He's not going to be sorry. He will be part of this squad. Um, I think that's kind of a vague answer. As to where he's going to play, I'd imagine it's going to be an interchange between Fred and Pereira, I imagine, because I can't, or possibly McLeotomini, um, we'll see. But he'll be involved, he'll be involved. Um, asked about Maguire's impact, talking about how level-headed he is, just as composed off and on the pitch, experienced a big presence around the place, smiling, personality you like to have around, and cool head at the back is important. Defenders level headed, not emotionally affected his great manager in a team. He's been very good to have around. And we can see Maguire's impact. I think he's already had an immediate impact. Um, and um, I think there's going to be a huge difference um, against Wolves. Um, I think the key thing for me with Wolves is, again, that it's going to be that midfield. It's that midfield. And us being clinical. Um, quiz department mentality mindset to, to the team. So we've had a good preseason. Fitness is better. We've got a young team that will give us energy um, and then toward the end of last season we were mentally tired, now mentally fresh, which you could see because they were just losing games. I'm looking forward to the first hurdle, the resilience, robustness, bouncing back when the going gets tough and I'm sure it will be on Monday. Wolves will give us a hard challenge, they will, just as much as a mental test. We're in a good place at the moment and when you hit the first hurdle, obstacle, you want to see the leaders. Anyone can play well when you're winning 3 or 4 now. Of course, because that's the idea, is that one of the things that as annoying as it was, one of the things that I liked about the you know towards the end of Jose Mourinho's reign and Manchester United in general is this comeback mentality. You know that's why people when people chose one saying, oh you know, oh if it's one one if it's one it'll be a different game or something. It's like have you watched Manchester United play? Like especially at Old Trafford, um, it's a never say never. Okay, essentially against City and Liverpool different, but against most of the rest of the league, you know we go one we go two nil down. Especially early on, we keep fighting, we keep going, you know, and that's the mentality we need to have. Like, I don't want to be afraid, you know, for me, I don't want United to be a team like Chelsea to a certain extent, um, and even to a certain extent Manchester City, you know, where you go um, a goal or two down, and it's almost like you just automatically down tools. United need to keep on fighting, and we need to have that mindset, and that mindset needs leaders, and hopefully, we, we, and hopefully, um, hopefully, um, you know, that will be that will be evident in in the game basically. Um, so that's basically that's a brief sort of summary. Um, thank you for tuning into Red Devil Studio. From what it, it's some inclusion here is that I think the key points from this press conference that everyone needs to be aware about are one mentality positivity going into this game against Wolves. It is going to be a challenge, but we're up for it. The the team is fitter they're in high spirits, especially after the Chelsea game. We want to go for it. Fred is going to be in, oh, the, the second thing is that the team is going to essentially be more or less the same as it was last week. Um, Ollie hinting at that. Three, Fred is going to play some role this season. Four, most importantly, 
Alexis Sanchez is, is not going to leave the club. The, the rumours, the stories about him being forced to go in the reserves, wanting to leave, etc. All a load of nonsense. And he's going to be part of this Manchester United squad going forward, especially given how, uh, how the forward line is. Um, so that's it. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Smash that notification to get the latest um, videos, updates from this channel. Follow us on Twitter, WeUnitedX. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.